Well, I mean, plastic pollution is has a direct and deadly effect on wildlife and biodiversity. And we know that thousands of seabirds, sea turtles, seals, and other marine mammals are killed each year by ingesting or getting entangled in plastic waste. So the fact that more than 700 species of marine animals have been found with traces of plastics in their digestive tracts, and that coral reefs are deemed 89% more likely to develop disease in the presence of plastic, these are real concerns. They're beyond concerns. We are living in a moment which is a plastic crisis. It's a plastic pollution crisis, and it's directly connected to, and our use of plastic is directly connected to uh, climate change, greenhouse gas emissions, global warming, uh, through production and the entire life cycle of plastics. So it takes us back to all the work that's been done so far to divest from fossil fuels. So as we want to move away from these materials, that includes moving away from using plastic and particularly single-use plastics and producing them at the alarming rate that we've been producing them. So th this is very much real, and this is something that we all need to take into account. Right. Uh, so, Deanna, the solution would be to move to alternative products that are, I guess, biodegradable. But what about the plastics that are already with us right now? How, do one, how does one approach that problem? Well, I mean, it's interesting. There's the Basel Treaty where they're looking at kinds of moratoriums on plastic production and looking at how you increase the use of alternate materials and reinstate refillable, reusable bottle bills, recycling programs that are actually using the container or the material. What you have to realize is that plastics have become the go-to to deliver most of our food and beverages, our beauty products, our household cleaning products to us, to people around the world. And the problem is that in the same way that it's impacting our flora and fauna, our biodiversity uh, and, and animals on the planet, it is also impacting us. And when I think of the images and what I've seen and what I've learned from scientists about sea pelagic seabirds dying from ingesting plastics, to me, those images are a metaphor for what we're doing to ourselves, and we don't realize it. We are stuffing ourselves full of plastic, and the chemicals used to make plastic, and the chemicals that leach from plastic, and they have been linked to a multitude of human health issues, and we are impacting ourselves multi-generationally.